Y'all, this is it, the winning lottery ticket. I cannot wait to share it with you and do some good in this world with it. Have you had a dream or two like that lately? Yeah, lottery fever seems to be going around as we all dream about holding the billion dollar ticket in our hot little hands and after a fun spending spree, going out and doing some good in this world with our winnings, right? The truth is, it's more likely to bring harm and trouble into our lives than good. Christmas morning, 2002. Jack Whitaker won a $315 million Powerball jackpot, and he couldn't wait to give to churches and charities and people in need. In return, he became the target of frivolous lawsuits. People can accuse you of all kinds of things when you have deep pockets. His daughter and granddaughter were killed under suspicious circumstances within seven years of his big win, and his wife left him. What does he say about winning the Powerball? I wish I had torn that ticket up. This lucky guy, Abraham Shakespeare, was found buried in a makeshift grave under a concrete slab less than three years after winning the lottery. A woman who befriended him and offered to help manage his money murdered him instead. And Billy Bob Harold Jr., a lottery winner who once dreamed of being a minister, thought finally his day had come. He could not only provide for his family but give generously to his church and needy parishioners. But you know, the more he gave, the more people wanted. Ultimately, family members turned on him, his wife left him, and he committed suicide just two years after hitting it big. No matter how much good you think you can do with lottery winnings, the world can do more harm. Listen to what Paul writes in 1 Timothy. Godliness combined with contentment brings great profit. For we have brought nothing into this world, and so we cannot take a single thing out either. But if we have food and shelter, we will be satisfied with that. Those who long to be rich, however, stumble into temptation and a trap and many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils. Some people, in reaching for it, have strayed from the faith and stabbed themselves with many pains. The truth is, there is no greater jackpot than Jesus Christ, who redeems us for all eternity, not with perishable things like silver and gold, but with His imperishable blood that will never run out. And you know what? That's a jackpot that no one can steal from you. And when you share it with others, it doesn't cause them to lose their lives. God saves their lives with it.